Okay, so next Friday we have got another near miss and asteroid 2012 DA14 is going to make its nearest approach at 7.30 p.m. Now the article was published on the Mail Online on the 8th of February 2013 and it goes on to say that NASA insists that this 150 foot wide 130,000 ton asteroid will not hit Earth but it will be the nearest known flyby for an object this size. So this is the first time that they know of that we will have an object this size flying so close to our planet. Now let's remember that we have three comets and two asteroids this year. It seems that we are now seeing an increased amount of incoming objects and I think that we really need to pay attention because I can only imagine what they are not telling us because for those of you that don't know there is a 48 hour suppression order on all near earth objects that are discovered and that's even dangerous near earth objects. So anyway the article goes on to say that the US space agency NASA has released a frightening new video showing just how close a massive asteroid will come to slamming into Earth next week. Now I find it really interesting that type of really fearful information that they are putting out there and we really have to understand that we're dealing with mail online. Now this is what the sheeple are consuming and they know that. So this is shaping the psyche of the herd, the mentality. So it's very, very important that you pay attention to how they are trying to spin information. So I find it interesting that they're putting more fear behind this asteroid. You know, let's not forget that the other asteroid that buzzed us at the beginning of the year, they called that one Draco. Um, so I don't know why they are, you know, suddenly, you know, getting into these scary, oh no, it wasn't Draco, sorry guys, it was, uh, Apophis, sorry, Apophis, which was the serpent of the underworld, you know, a very fearful uh, nemesis to uh, Ra and uh, a bringer of destruction. So very interesting, you know, that we keep seeing them with this spin. Now, look, logically, I think that perhaps what they're doing is they're building up all of these events which they really know will amount to nothing. You know, they know that this asteroid is not going to hit um, the planet. They know it's going to be coming very close, so they're letting us know that we're going to see this. But it almost make, makes out, uh, to me, it almost seems that they're trying to build these things up to be these big scary events and then they really pass and nothing happens. And I think this is because they want us, you know, in this kind of false sense of security when we actually start seeing ice on appearing in our sky. So, you know, we just need to keep paying attention to how they're trying to put this information out. You know, that's really helpful for us because it benefits our uh, understanding of where they're at and what they're doing. And so for me, logically, I can't understand why they're building these things up that are really not that much. To me, it seems that they are trying to get us used to seeing these really close flybys and just equating them to really meaning nothing, you know, no importance and nothing ever becomes of them. And we all know that human beings have a very short memory, you know, I mean, we don't even, you know, think that anything's going to happen. I mean, I don't know how many times I see that comment whenever I upload a video like this, nothing's going to happen. I mean, oh, it really drives me crazy because, you know, things happen on our planet all the time. We have extinction level events all the time. Now, not that I'm saying that we're heading towards an extinction level event. I don't know. I don't know what we're heading towards, but I do know we're heading towards something. And anyone that's connected and actually feeling the energy and the changes going on know that we're heading towards something. So anyway, if you're interested in checking out this article, it's got a animation of the flyby. It's pretty boring, actually and just some more additional information in regards to this uh, asteroid. So anyway, I will 
post this video, uh, this article, sorry, under the video, and uh, of course you can check that out for yourself. And as always, peace out.